96.3 FM, The Source. All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning. Interesting uh, that we have a discussion about college-age kids, and, and now we're going to talk something about elementary school, high school, and, and uh, children learning some of the basic rudimentary things that their academic careers uh, encompass, uh, math specifically. Jed McBreen is on the phone. He taught math for 10 years in elementary schools, high schools, and at the Holloway Women's Prison in London, England. He's the founder and chief executive officer of something called Komodo Learning. And in addition to what that is, we're going we're gonna to find out how it can help you. The importance of math and Komodo Learning. I went to the website if you want to get a head start on this. It's KomodoMath.com. And it's uh, just like the Komodo dragon. So maybe there's a connection there. Let's find out from our guest, Jed McBreen. Good morning, Jed. Hi, Larry. Where are you? I'm actually uh, standing in Belfast in in Ireland at the moment. Um, We also have an office in uh, downtown Manhattan in New York, and I hope to be over there in a week. Uh, And... uh, you know, basically, our, our business is pretty much focused on the U.S. market, and uh, I take a particular delight when I see um, new customers arrive from states as far and wide as South Dakota and Florida and California and uh, and, and, and Michigan. So it's uh, it's a great privilege to be able to work um, in the United States and you know not actually be there at this time. Uh, first of all, let me say there's a delay between the time you hear me and I hear you, so I apologize if I speak over you. Um, I don't mean to do that intentionally. Let me ask you this. What is Komodo Math? And, and, and th- this is something you created, right? This is your invention? Yes. Uh, Komodo is an online math system. It's a learning system for helping kids from kindergarten through fifth grade master math at home. Uh, this is something that's very passionate to me because as a child, I actually struggled with math. Even though my current career is dominated by math, I've taught math, uh, I'm involved in the, you know, the learning technology business around mathematics. But as a child, I thought math was a, a foreign language to me. And it, was, uh, it, was all, it got to the stage where around about age eight, I was uh, physically ill, really, around, uh, really, through fear of math. And... Uh, it was my mom's intervention, really, and uh, the practice exercises that she led me through around the kitchen table and her patient approach and her encouragement really turned me around. And it was her intervention, really, that I think um, uh, made me go on to study math at university. It made me realize that actually I, I could do it and I enjoyed it. Wow. And it really transformed my career and my education since. And the math so, is... as a teacher... Oh, go, go ahead. Sorry. As, as, as a teacher, I went on to see a, a, a pattern emerging of, of kids as they left elementary school and came into high school, and I could tell that they'd already given up on math, and their confidence was completely at, 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 at zero on it, and um, I think that's a, such a dreadful waste that really, for me, one of the priorities in my educational technology career is really to do something about this and allow parents a way to actually intervene and turn around their kids when they're having difficulties in math. And the math is so prevalent in everyday life. I mean, you need math for uh, baking, for for the recipes. You need math in the building trades to construct buildings. You need math in music. Uh, it's Math is everywhere, and you are really helping alleviate the fear. That's right, Robin. And, and what's probably... Uh, um, recently apparent is that math is actually involved in many new careers in the knowledge economy. So, for example, uh, new fields of technology, robotic, robotics, artificial intelligence. Of course, we know about computer science. So there are so many great STEM careers that lead directly back to math. So tell me, uh, first of all, why Komodo? Why did you name it Komodo? When I was... Um, Early on when I was looking for a name for the company, uh, my son watched a TV program called The Deadly 60, and uh, 
one of the one of the creatures in it, of course, was this this horrible beast from Indonesia, the Komodo dragon. <laughs> and he he actually he loved this Komodo dragon, and he put up a a picture on his wall, uh, a small poster of it. And so it was there all the time when we were reading at night. And yeah. uh, when it came to looking for a name, he pretty much came up with it. Dad, you should call it Komodo. <laughs> oh, you know? okay, so that's funny. It turned out. Turned out okay. Is is the um. The technique for helping somebody better understand math, math applicable ap- applicable to the higher math, or is it basic math? Like, could you use this in trigonometry, for example? Well, it starts really at kindergarten. It goes through to fifth grade. So, um, oh, okay, okay. The, a lot of our work really would be around the foundation skills, around uh, multiplication, about around place value. Uh, around uh, addition and subtraction, but it does go on to uh, pre-algebra. It goes on to some elements of, uh, for example, fractions, decimals, percentages. Um, the key topics, basically, that kids find difficulty in. And the way I look at it is that math is different from many subjects. It's not really a bank of knowledge to learn. You actually learn it through doing it and through practice. Yeah, yeah. It's more like learning a musical instrument than, uh, yeah. than, than learning, say, geography. So when you learn a musical instrument, you start with your scales and you move on to simple melodies and you, it becomes more advan- advanced and so on. But if you haven't actually mastered the scales, you're going to have trouble later on. Um, so what we provide is a, a method of per, per, personalized practice that, um, that builds up uh, a, 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 the skill base in, in, in the learner's mind so that they become fluent in math and it becomes second nature to them. Does it work uh, alongside the, the other methods that are being taught? Like if a child is, u- is using Komodo math at home and in school they're using Common Core or whatever they use these days, do, do they um, interface with each other or do they conflict with one another? Well, I, I don't see any conflict uh, whatsoever. I mean, the, the, the core skills in math haven't really changed. And in some ways, uh, you know, right from the start we designed Komodo to complement um, uh, the work, the great work that's happening in schools. We don't see it as a replacement for what's happening in school. It's actually a supplement that uh, parents can use, and, and it doesn't require um, a, a, an enormous time commitment. We actually call it little and often learning. We're looking for 15, 20 minutes, five times a week, and it's flexible, so you can fit it around your oh, wow. business, the school schedule. <laughs> I know that when my children were little and we go to the grocery store, they would add up the prices in their heads and even figure the tax. And then the uh, uh, cashier was so gracious, she would wait until TJ and Shannon would tell her the answer before she would ring it, ring it up. And, uh-huh. and mo- you know, most all the time they got it right on. That, that's excellent. I would encourage parents to take any opportunity like that to actually... Uh, give their kids uh, a challenge in math and also talk about math. Uh, one of the best way of, uh, ways of, uh, of telling if your child understands a topic in math is ask them to teach it back to you. So, uh, you know, if it's uh-huh, multiplication, yeah, yeah. ask them, Can you show, me, show me how you do that and pretend that you don't know and then see if they can teach you. So can you demonstrate it on the radio or is this something we have to look at? I'd, I'd encourage uh, anybody listening who's, who has a child uh, that might benefit to, to visit our site, not just because we have a premium option, but actually we have some great free resources there as well. One thing we have is a quiz system that is completely free, and parents can, can, can register and their child can take a short quiz, and it will tell you the strengths and weaknesses in your child's math. It will give you a detailed report about the accuracy and fluency um, on particular topics. Uh, that's there. It's completely free. There's, a, there's a, you know, many videos there. There's some interactive practice exercises there. So it's, um, it's a great resource that we put together. I'm very proud of it. Can you do one? I mean, uh, can you give us a sample on the radio? I, I just went to the site, and it's asking me for my name and my email. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Can you? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Can you do it? Can you do it without me? Um, uh, I, it, it's, it's very hard to translate interactive uh, online media in, in, into radio. I mean, oh, okay. I suppose... Okay. Um, 
Um, but you know, I, 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 you, you've got me on that one. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this. My son's name is Alex. It's, it's asking me my son's name. Okay. All right, I'm going to pretend he's ten. Okay, he's he's 31, but I'm going to pretend he's ten. And an engineer, by the way. I'm going to say he has learning difficulties. Okay, I'm, I'm answering the questions right there. Oh, is Alex ready to go? Okay, so I'm going to start the test. Let's see. High five for the Komodo. Okay, click the hand as fast as you can. I'm sorry. Okay, I took my time. Hello. Okay. Uh, now what happens? Okay. Oh, is it audible? Am I supposed to be hearing it? Let me see. Is there sound? Um, there? Oh, I don't hear anything. We don't. We, we don't have sound on that lab element, the quiz element, right there. We have sound in in the app. Oh, you have to click the hand. Oh, so clicking the hand is actually part of the learning. Yeah, well, it's actually what it does is we make an, an allowance because some young kids can't move the mouse or, or click that fast. So we make allowance by, by asking them to, we measure their speed by clicking the hand. I got you. Okay. So, all right. So here it is. Five plus four equals, you click the, the nine. One plus two equals, you click, click the three. Yep. So what is this doing? Ten minus four. Oh, gosh. I hope I get these right. Uh, <laughs> Ten minus five is five. Uh, nine, nine minus four is five. Right, Robin? Did I do that one right? Six minus four equals two. I'm trying my hardest here. Two plus three is five. Oh, my gosh. Nine minus two is seven. I'm try- How many questions are there? Three, three minus two is one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the missing number? Six plus four equals ten. Okay. Uh, nine minus six equals three. How many questions are there? Okay. This is really one, nice. One plus four is five. Oh, there's, there's a good two. So this is, yeah, this is fun because I'm clicking and clicking and have no idea if I'm, I think I'm getting them all right. What's the missing number? Three plus seven equals 10. Okay. <laughs> nice work, it says. Nice work. Okay, so I just took a test and if, if I was that child, and you're going to see results for Alex on here, that's really not me. Uh, <laughs> that is you. It's but, not really So Alex. what would happen if I got it wrong? Would the parent, you click parents, click here. That would tell the well, parent what to do? Well, what, what happens is that um, probably right now there's an email that we're sending back to your to the email address you register that will give okay. you a detailed um, report which which would tell you the um, you know the speed and also the you know the accuracy on your responses okay. and give you an idea of the fluency in in, in that particular topic. So okay. it's um, we don't we don't we don't overexpose the detail to the child. Um, we think that goes to the parent first, and then it's the parent's choice to actually uh, talk about it with the child. Um, and um, what I would say is, is that I'd encourage all parents really to, to see um, to, uh, that early intervention really in, the, in, in their child's math is quite important because one thing that can happen is that confidence can drop if, if, if the number of topics they don't understand builds up and they yeah, begin to yeah. get you know, fearsome of math. I absolutely, I can see right away how this is going to be helpful for the young parent with the young child. Um, thank you for, I know we t- kept you a little bit longer than we were supposed to, but thank you for being on there with us while we did that. Jed McBreen is our guest. Uh, the website is KomodoMath.com. Any any other information we should give our listeners? Well, Komodo is, uh, it, it's affordable. It's only $9.99 a month. And if you Google Komodo Math, you'll, you'll find the website. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jed. Thank you for being on. That was fun. I, I, I hope I did well on that test. Thank you. <laughs> right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Ocala Aviation now has opportunities for flight instructors. Wait, hold on, Brad. Is this correct? You're looking for instructors, not students? Actually, we're looking for both. Well, that's descriptive. Well, I need flight instructors because we're now affiliated with a major university and can offer four-year degrees. Plus, we're also approved to work directly with VA students. Okay, so a degree in what and what's a VA student? Well, it's a bachelor's degree in aeronautics, which includes a commercial pilot's license, and there's financial aid available. By VA students, I mean veterans. They now have access to new benefits to pay for flight training. Okay, so you have new opportunities for new students students, what about the instructor side of it? Well, with new students, we need more instructors. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, if anyone out there is a flight instructor, I want to encourage them to come see me. And if they're not an instructor, but have their commercial license, 